first test ever. So the best topic will be the uh, SAMI GSEM, the SAMI uh, Supervised Generalized Structural Equation Model. Uh, so basically, uh, this SAMI GSEM package is uh, developed, developed by a case of maternal science department to our lab and uh, another lab from the statistical department. Uh, so before we talk about SAMI GSEM, let first talk about what is SEM. So SEM is Structural Equation Modeling. It's a diverse set of mathematical models and computer uh, algorithms and other statistical methods to uh, fit a network model. It's basically like you have a, a, a observable a variable and non-observable variable in your experiment and you want to uh, build up the relationship between each of the variables. So it includes uh, measurement model that defines uh, the tent variables and which is not observable and use some uh, one or more observable variables. So it will gener gener generate a structural model that impels the relationship between the tent variables and uh, that structural equation modeling can impels the relationship between different pairs of variables in your and here is a semi-supervised generalized structural equation model. So the difference that we uh, choose, uh, like uh, in that package, we chose six, uh, three de determinant models, so that we call semi-supervised generalized structural model. Uh, basically, it will uh, do the statistical analysis based on a data frame. Uh, and that data frame, we can see in So from the uh, SAMGSM package, you can first load the SGSM package, and there is an uh, acrylic data frame already existing in that package. And when you hit run view that acrylic, you can see uh, this data frame is a uh, basis where the statistical analysis based on. And the first column, uh, so you can see there are totally uh, six columns. So generally, uh, the first column is used as uh, stresses, and the, y, uh, the second column is used as response. And the other four, which is ID1, ID2, ID2P, and ID3, are the four other variables, interval variables, to uh, see what happens in the if you want to test the yi, so is there any other variables related to the yi change? So those four factors are analyzed, uh, 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 measured in by your samples and recorded to that data frame. So also remember that the first column is your uh, stressor column, which usually for our lab is usually be degradation time, degradation time, and the Y is always used as the uh, final property change, which is the final response. And all the columns after two are intervariable. So so let's say summary of what we just show. You need a data frame. X require at least two column. Uh, the first column starts the primary influencing uh, factors, and the second column is the res response variables. And it will add the columns that uh, uh, shows the uh, intermediate uh, probability change of your uh, samples. Like for example, for my uh, coding samples. The inter, uh, intermediate variables is the uh, parametric data and FTR data. And there is a function uh, which uh, mainly used in that package is SGSM.
SEM. So X is the name of your data frame. Uh, the predictor, usually we, we don't include the predictor as well because it automatically recognizes the first column as your uh, predictor, the second column as your response. So if you uh, create that data frame and run uh, as we uh, I see add functions, so it will comes out a uh, uh, picture like uh, so basically as, after you run the SJSM function, it comes out graph like that. So uh, irradiation time is your first column and the predictor. The y is yi is the response and the second column. So there are other four factors that is uh, included in the other four columns in your data frame, which will be shown as uh, intermediate variables. And uh, you will see there are different types of lines. Some are solid, some are not solid lines. The, if you see the solid lines, the solid line, my solid line means, uh, for example, this this one, the ID one, ID two, uh, solid line means it has strong relationship, and the uh, dashed line means uh, it doesn't have a strong relationship between that two factors. So, and you can see it, the all that solid lines. Here is a model we use to uh, fit that uh, two factors and the R squared and just R squared shows here. So, how does that picture was uh, was produced? So let's see what happened inside that functions. So, basically inside that functions, uh, we have a, a six predetermined function forms. So they are simple linear. Model, quadratic model, simple quadratic exponential, like rhythm, and non linear variable. So, all the uh, pairs of variables will be tested, uh, will be tried to build up a model based on those six models. And uh, they will give uh, the adjust, uh, adjusted R square, uh, p value 1, p value 2, and p value 3. So, uh, the graph I just show you is just a one component of that function, the, the result of that function. And you can also see a table, and which I'll show you later with my R code. And the best models, which shows the best model. So, there are for, let's say for one pair of variables, you can fit a different type of models, right? And you want to choose the one, the model with the highest adjusted R square so that we can see that is a good uh, fitting model. And uh, so the all models is another result which can be uh, got from the SGM function. It just uh, includes all the models that have been tried to fit it to a uh, specific pairs of uh, variables. So in order to get the table, best models, all models, you want to use a code. Uh, so ALS is your data frame's name. ALS dollar sign table will give you a table of all the uh, variables has been has uh, trying to build up a model in your function. And the best models will show the best models of each pair of variables. And the all model just at least all the models has been tried. And you want to use the, uh, so if you don't want, if you want to cut have a cut off, uh, say, uh, ask your, for example, like uh, you want to uh, define that, say, if the model's R square is, uh, for example, higher than 0.6, that plot function with cut off equal to 0 0.6, 0 0.4 uh, will help you to uh, differentiate the uh, R squared above 0.4 with 
with solid lamp and below 0.4 with dash lamp, which I just showed in the video. And if you want to see a specific model of a specific pair of variables, you want to use the pass functions to first SGSEM functions here, and you want to Oh, sorry, it's from, from variable 1 to variable 2, then you will get the best model of that pair of variables. So, uh, this is just a, a basic a concept picture I've shown the left. On the left, your laser utilization time will be stressor, on the other right side, response of white light, yellow means index, and uh, the, in the center of the, uh, this figure is the uh, possible magnesium cost degradation of your material. And uh, all the data from the transition, which will be which usually showed by uh, UAVs or NPR data, and that kind of data will see to the third column and the column uh, after the third This is all for uh, the our power plant, power plant plantation. I will give up a brief example based on the uh, R code. So, first, when you open your R Studio, you want to leverage S three S E M. Uh, it's now called Sandy GSM and just the S G S E M, that's the name of the language. And then you uh, load the data accurately and view the structure data frame of accurate, which is uh, here. So always remember that when you create a data frame for Sandy GSM, the first column will always be the radiation time uh, as predictor, and the second column is used as final response. And the column after the second column will always be some intermediate variables you want to create into that same uh, JSON code. And uh, so it's easy to run that function, just a uh, uh, SGSEM accurate and uh, name your uh, result as ALS. So we use plot function to plot in ice. So that's the uh, result. And if you want to The R square is uh, 0.27. If you want to uh, define that as a uh, not good, not less bad uh, modeling, you want to use a cutoff functions, a uh, cutoff uh, functions here, and uh, you need n. Now here. And you use summary function of your uh, result to see uh, how the uh, model has been tried to uh, build up the relationship between the variables. Uh, so you can see they will try each one of your variables when they final uh, response by yellow, yellow, white eye, yellow means index. And uh, yeah, just uh, like try all the possible. And if you want to extract a, a specific relation between the UH time and the yellowness index, use the uh, pass function and you will get the uh, model type. 
high moral education, especially uh, morals. And you use uh, ANI's dollar sign table to see They, uh, all the models have been tried, R square, just R square, p value 1, p value 2, and p value 2. So, for the best models, I will just uh, list the uh, for a specific pair of uh, variables, it will uh, list uh, which model is the best, and finally, will show on uh, that graph. So the p value one and p value two, p value three, is uh, they tried the uh, different models, and the different models will give you a specific p value. And also you can uh, use the analyze or some models. It will show uh, all the possible models has been tried, and uh, some of them you can see they don't uh, have some uh, strong shape between different variables. So based uh, like I'd say logarithm model, it just uh, doesn't fit uh, any one of the pairs of variables for that. Model. For the exponential one, you can see some of them are fitted and uh, some are not. So that all models will just show you all the six uh, models that have been predetermined to lo load in your package. So you will try each type of models for each pair of That's all for my presentation. The next part will be me. She will uh, show uh, specific examples uh, for the application to our lives data.
sometimes error will occur because of bigger margins are too large. But I think it's because of the Okay. Anyway, this this method works, but I'm not sure why I don't know why it doesn't work now. But usually other people in our lab they will use very um clear way and very easy way. They use a, a new package called Slack. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think about the I think the figure maybe it's too large and it's kind of not show here. But it's both we can um help us to plot this parallel plot and in this parallel plot we can know the um R square R value that is correlation coefficients and we can choose the variables that have the R value um, larger than 0 0.5 or like 0 0.8, 0 0.9. I think the larger the better. And uh, because the data frame we have right now is like they have different types they can have different uh, material and they can have different exposure condition and sometimes we want to um, sub subset the data frame to see um, like which variables do what kind of effect on the uh, response like the yi and loss <coughs> so we um, subset, the data, subset the data frame to data frame one and then two. Um, those two different uh, approaches both can uh, obtain the subset uh, data sh data frame. And uh, oh, this one is also to plot the parallel plots. I don't think it works right now. So I'm just jump jump to a another step and. Uh, Early after we got the data frame we want, and we can build a model for, um, for the response and the pre predictor. And uh, uh, as a beginning, we, beginner, we use a, a linear regression model, and uh, we use the LM function to create the linear regression model. Here we can see. regression model for the yi versus the uh, what is it? the dose means the dose of gradients and that's equal to the time and so we can see the yi versus the time and different method a mechanism in that um, degradation uh, procedure and uh, this way, because it's very uh, messy, and sometimes we don't know if it's the best model for this um, data analysis. And uh, we can use uh, a NOVA to see, um, like, if we need to uh, add more variables, or we can decrease the variables using this model. Now we can find the final model as well, give us the final model like this. Um, and we can compare the final model with the initial model, and we find that some variables have been deleted. And, uh, um, and we can uh, sure that this is the best linear model for the. Only the uh, linear regression model, and then we can use our um, semi jazz young package. And bef before we use this package, we need to look through the papers and articles to find which me mechanism will be uh, important or significant in the in the whole validation. For my for my case, I found that um, the absorption at three hundred and seventy seven nanometers will be the absorption due to the degradation.
relationships. I 